didn't see it for two minutes. Okay. Well, anyway, what, what, what I was going to say before webcam issues, um, what I do in PvP, and I've been doing this for the last two months, and it works for me. I don't know why it does, but I, I really like it. I go for a one one gate. I scout off my gateway. One gate cyber core. Two guys in each gas. I get a stargate after my first stalker. Then I get a mothership core. Rally the first oracle to their base. So I'm scouting to make sure they're not doing any DT shenanigans or anything like that. Or if they're doing an early like three gate, ten gate, or something like that, I won't go stargate. I'll just obviously defend. Um, but this. Like, it gets me oracles on their side of the map, which gives me scouting, gives me vision. If they've got an expansion already down, I know I'm safe to expand myself. If I'm not sure if they have an expansion, I hit two gates before the expansion so I can hold any sort of blank all in. Um, Here, let me stop you, okay? This is the cow build. <laughs> it is. Let me yeah. stop you. Yeah. The cow build is risky as fuck. Yeah. yeah. He knows it. Uh, yeah. Listen. Like, it, it's if they're scouting. going to Phoenix, you're fucked. That's yeah, they yeah. open Phoenix, you lose. Yeah, it's I agree. No. I mean, like, yes, it, if, they're, if they're two gating, if they're good and they're opening Phoenix, you have to get they, they go blind Phoenix. Over. Well, no, 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 no. I open one Oracle. If they go Phoenix, I drop the second Oracle. I expand later than I don't make the second Oracle. I immediately throw down a Twilight Council because they're not going Dark Shrine, so I don't need a Robo. Like, normally, I go for a Robo in case there's going to be any sort of DT play. But I don't need a robo because they're going Phoenix. You haven't so played I... any ladder until you got Phoenix DT. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> just saying. I face that all the time, man. I was telling you about that guy that does the build. I won't say his name on here. Because it's very racist. But <laughs> he does the build every single game. But like Phoenix uh, DT. Like how do you have so? How do you have that much gas? Those must be like the latest DTs in the universe, though. It's, it's like a two-base. It's a two-base build. Yeah, yeah. But it's like ridiculous. I hate that guy that's like, I'm gonna go DTs after we both go Stargate and we're both in Phoenix. He makes like four Phoenixes and like, put kind of pressures and then makes DTs. <laughs> that does happen because and everyone's I, yeah. like, I'm not moving out with my Phoenix. No, I think it's really good though if, uh, I think it's really good if you have a small Phoenix lead. So let me ask you this. Do you think that there is a correct, safe way to play in PvP or do you really feel like the matchup needs to be altered in some way? To make it not a coin flip, I think the best way to play I, I really don't is to get, get really with... good with your micro, play aggressive, and then with tech behind it, and then be able to like expand and macro from there. But if you're going for just a build that's like it's gonna do this, and I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna like do my build, like you're like just gonna die to shit. Like Robo Expand, like Robo Expand's a good build, but it's only good against certain things. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. You, Korean I think the strongest way to play is to play like, with a strategy that punishes uh, Robo Expand, like can deny Robo Expand, and at the same time holds up against Stargate play. And Blink play is never really an issue because, like, no matter what take you're going, you're always going to be able to deal with Blink if you like do it properly. See, yeah. okay, I'm not as good as you three, but I still really like my build. I really think it works. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just have it like. I used I to really think that. that I used to do it too. I used but, to think that exact same thing. I mean, uh, I guess <laughs> if they get time. better, I'll run into a wall of just people that just hard counter it. My thing though, if they go blind Phoenix first, I just throw down my Twilight, throw down a Dark Shrine, so they're immediately having to defend like the Dark Shrine that's coming. I use I put an Archon on each mineral line as I'm expanding. And so what? Phoenix go in. I just, <laughs> you put an Archon on each mineral line? What are you saying? <laughs> you hey, you... but well, no, 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 no like, don't even. Like... You I'm can't put saying, archons I'm... in your mineral line. That's like ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I play Zerg, and it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, they can't pick up. They can't pick up the archons. That's my thing. I know, but the oh it, it, my it, God. Cool Except they can kill ten pros before your archon kills a single beat. It. Like <laughs> archons are pretty big investment too. Like they don't need a couple. Well, pros I don't. I don't like. I was with you a little bit. Resources. Tell that archon in the middle, like. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? And I was like, give me the fuck out of this conversation. <laughs> I don't rush for the archon. Like, okay. Like I don't rush for. The, here's like I go. Cause I'm going for charge archon immortal, right? Like that. That's normally how my play style kind of focuses around. 
I get the Archons when I can, and I'm kind of I'm, I'm trying to keep the Phoenix out of my mineral line, like as best I can. That's that's my entire goal is to keep them out of my mineral line because the Phoenix eventually, even if they go for like mass Phoenix, because I'm getting five or six Archons with an attack I'm doing, the Phoenix go down as the game progresses. Like the the Phoenix utility goes down as the game progresses. So I'm just trying to get them to not kill off as many probes and equalize that damage so they can get back in the game. That's how I'm kind of looking at it. I got okay. And I, I don't play Protoss. Archon defending a mineral line. I wouldn't. I would just like kill your probes anyways, because like <laughs> archons can't catch phoenixes if they're micro. Well, right, no, well they, they can't. I I don't play Protoss. All right, but okay. Okay, fields. Could you, could you, rather than having an Archon in your middle line, could you not just have a High Templar and feed back the Phoenix? That's, that's one you of the ways of defending it. Two High Templars, you do a double feedback, and then you merge into an Archon. That's, that's mm -hmm. kind of common. But at I the same time, GSD you have to be smart. It's you have to think about what they're doing. It's to defend, like, four Phoenix or five Phoenix. It's yep. just, um, you're still going to take massive that. losses. And even if you do get the feedbacks off, like, you're not going to kill the phoenixes, because they shouldn't have, like, max energy. Right, but you don't need to kill them. You just need to drain their energy. And then the harass well, is nullified. Can, well, no, then they come back, like, later, because that energy rejects. If you're going to do that style of defense, you need to drop your feedbacks, make the Archon, and then move across the map and go kill them. That's, yeah, that's can, like, if you're going into Templar Archives against kinda, Phoenix, all in, like eight, you have to all in. Like, you just wait until you get those lucky feedbacks, they get greedy, and then you go with like seven gates and plus two. Well, we're talking about if you're going Oracle and you see Phoenix and your Oracle's done. Like, okay, so you want to go? You should go Twilight Archives, and you should go Blink, and you should try to expand, and you should see if they're expanding. At that point, like, if they just make a crap ton of Phoenix, just all in them, you'll kill them. Like, if they make more than five Phoenix, you could probably all in them. Like, you just have to have those numbers in your head. And like ready to go. And I just, just play you I guys five phoenixes versus like somebody that's gonna try and do that. I would kill like fifteen probes. <laughs> so what? You just, you'll die. Like what does that matter? And I'll leave so my mother's Fifteen support. probes. Like are you talking? Like we're talking about like two bases. Like if I kill like fifteen probes, you're like never gonna be able to add on your gateways. Or if you do, it's gonna the all-in's gonna. Oh come. no no no! Well the all-in's gonna be like reactionary like if you're trying to take a nexus and you're making six phoenix and i have blink stalkers i'm gonna all in you because what are you gonna have i can have anything you'll have like a zealot and a sentry at home wait wait say that say that again sorry if you're trying to expand and you're making that many phoenix you'll mm -hmm. die six five phoenix that's what more you think? than five more than five more than five okay like i think i think eight is pushing the boundaries but i think it depends on how many probes you kill like i well, you shouldn't kill any at first what? until, like, I have two bases. And then you could start trying to pick some off. Hmm. I feel like I, I could know. kill some anyways. I could probably kill, like... I could... I don't know. Well, if you're going to use all your lifts on probes, then you're not going to have any for defense either. I want to play one of you guys in PvP and show you what I do against Phoenix. I feel like I'm really explaining it very badly. I feel like I can just all in your Let's... build. Let's stop talking about PvP. Yeah, let's move on to PvZ. So, not much has changed since every other time we've talked about PvZ. Um, is that an accurate thing. statement? You have to You're pressure on. on. You still do the four gate cell thing? No, I mean, I do that occasionally when I'm really bored and really tired, but normally I just do the Oz uh, 8 Phoenix off 2 Stargates into 6 Colossus with a lot yeah. of gateway units. Standard. And, yeah, just toss his death ball with, uh, Void Race. Alright, I gotta ask this question. Uh, again, I play Zerg, and I'm bad. We all know this. Yep. But, I've been having a lot of fun that when I drone scout, I normally drone scout when uh, at 10 supply against Protoss on a 2 base map. And, if I see a pylon at their natural, they're gonna forge expand, whatever. Um, and there's not a forge up when I get there, uh, that means they're going Nexus first, right? Okay. I throw a hatch in their natural. How do you feel like that? Does that slow you down? Like, do you just laugh when somebody does that? Do you think it's a good play by the Zerg? 
Of course, if you're going Nexus first, first, that, first, that's what like, you're yeah. You have yeah. to get that before you get your own natural. And then they're going to throw down their forge, their gateway, get cannons. Like a gas. a gas. Yeah, but normally what happens when I do it is, and again, I'm only in diamond, so I don't know if they're just responding poorly because it's something they don't see. But normally they're like, WTF, mate. And they like stall for like maybe 10 seconds and then they throw down a forge. And they put two cannons up. But by the time the cannon's finished, my hatch is done. And you got a queen out. And I get a queen out, and then I throw creep tumors everywhere, and I just make... Probably shouldn't let the creep tumor go down, but yeah. Yeah, so if they can deny the creep tumor, and like, if they have a gateway up and get a zealot out immediately, and... But still, even one zealot, I can kite the zealot, get my creep tumor up, and then just... Like, what do they do? I feel like it's a really, really strong build against Nexus first. It but is, I don't forge expand, though. Honestly, usually what the Zerg, usually, I mean, usually what the Zerg does if they're drone scouting, they'll pop into your main first. Mm -hmm. And if you see if you see the drone by your pylon, like I automatically just say I'm drawing down the forge, or at least that's how I used to play back when yeah. I went Nexus first. So I would if I see an early, early drone scout, I'm like, yep, we're not doing Nexus first today, boys. Yeah. Sorry, it's a. And then if you, then if you throw down your hatch, like my cannons are going to be enough time to where your hatch won't even get up. Yeah, yeah. And if if you're putting it down really early, I mean, it's delaying you too. Like, I don't think it's very good. I think it's better against gateway expand. Uh, really? really? I think it's bad against like gateway so. expand. I do too. I think it's really bad against gateway expand. I see it all the time. It's really bad. Expand, and I just do like an immortal wall and just get them. It's either like hundred rolls. It's a late nexus. I mean, you can you, what you do is you get two zealots and you get the soccer with the mothership core, yeah. and then you expand. Mm -hmm. And you put on. Aggression. Oh, actually, you know and what you I put do? On aggression they, after. Yes. Yeah. When they do yeah. that to me, I actually go straight up uh, for DTs and the village cards that are all in after my DTs. Go. You do weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I'm, I'm That's at actually really weird. For us. Well, my rationale is they've taken my expansion. Like, this is just me thinking about it. They've taken my expansion, and I'm going for a gate expand. Um, I'll throw down a second gas. I'll get up my gas while I'm taking, my zealots are taking care of the natural, obviously. They've delayed their own expansion and their third, and most zergs don't like getting up a lair before their third. Some do, but it's rare. Um, Actually, very common nowadays. Yeah. Well, I think if they hatch block you, it's fine to go with, like, a twilight expand. I, I mean, you didn't really explain it. I think it's fine if, you're, if you open double gas... And they hatch block you. Yeah. You're gonna have a lot of extra gas, obviously, if you open double mm -hmm. gas like two and two. I think yeah. adding the Twilight Council before you take your Nexus is completely fine, and I think even going into DTs is fine. There's actually somebody who I've seen do something similar to that. Uh, I can't remember which Protoss it was. did but... it. Okay, San against the hatch block. There we go. And uh, did it the other day, too. And he was just like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working. And he just like, I yeah, usually drop my Stargate. Like before Twilight into expand, I don't think is a bad idea. But like Stargate, also, if you get a Void Ray out, their thirds, like your Void Ray can cancel their third as well. All right, but so. basically, what I do is if I do the hatch block and I get the creep tumors down, I don't take my third right away. If you get creep tumors down, the you won't get creep lose. tumors. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so basically, if you get creep tumors down, it's GG. Yes, you're bad you're if you let it happen. Yeah. Okay, because like then it's like unless you're going like. Cause then I then I just don't go into my third. I I, I yeah, just saturate just two bases, throw down spines and spores, and I just win. Well, so. I think if you had the other general, day, you shouldn't take a fast third. Minigun got no, hatch not, blocks, yeah. and he just took the he just took his third as the natural while he was uh. Yeah, because so many zerks will like hash block, and then they'll just go, uh, like do a three hash before pool kind of thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they all do. Cause like if you don't do that, your natural so late. Uh, then he just went into like the void ray storm like build from there. Mm -hmm. He got a forge mm -hmm. to defend his third. I, I don't know. I think sounds that's like a game response. we've seen before. That sounds like you. If they don't scout it, <laughs> <laughs> I did like the exact thing on Aquila. Well, even if they scout it, like if you wall off your cannon, it depends on the map, of course. Well, this yeah. is on Belchier, but I don't. Well, I think Aquila would be pretty hard, pretty tough. Even though you can wall off easy there, you'd have your to natural the so there. wide open that like. <laughs> No, I think Aquilon's really easy, because... Wait, are we talking about Gateway or Port? I forget. <laughs> gateway. <laughs> um, In that case, yeah, go ahead. I think for Forge, go ahead. For Gateway. 
I think it's gonna you be can harder do it. to defend your lower at that point. Yeah. I think if you're doing gateway, you can, uh... You, you can, like...